This is the Locked On NHL's road to the trade deadline, and the first domino has fallen in Ottawa. I'm Ross Levitan from Locked On Senators, always joined by Brandon Piller, and we have a trade to announce. The Senators are sending pending UFA Tyler Mott to the New York Rangers in exchange for Julian Gauthier, a big right winger and a conditional seventh round pick that becomes a sixth if the Rangers win one round in this upcoming playoff. Pilsy, what was your immediate reaction when you saw this news? Well, Ross, we knew that Tyler Mott was going to be traded as reported by Elliot Friedman. He was held out of this afternoon's lineup against the St. Louis Blues for trade-related reasons. We're seeing that term a lot more these days. And honestly, this is a very lateral move, if you ask me. I don't think uh, the, the player is a major upgrade over Tyler Mott. Honestly, I would say Tyler Mott is probably a better player, but... You're looking for potential in Gauthier, and I think the key here is he's an RFA next year. I, I think Tyler Mott probably is going to take a look elsewhere and wants a chance to play on a contending team this season as he's going to be a UFA, whereas Gauthier, he's going to be an RFA, so the Sens at least have a chance of extending him into another season. Hopefully he can um, kind of find part of his game closer to home as he's a Quebec native and a, a guy that has less than 10 career total points in all of his uh, single seasons is going to be a little underwhelming. But also, I mean, Tyler Mott was a fourth line player, so they they fit a similar role. I just think you had a more experienced guy in Tyler Mott, but I'm willing to take a look at this trade and give it some, some time here. Yeah, it'll be nice to see Julian Gauthier get to Ottawa and have some familiar faces. The Pierre Dorian friendship tour continues. Gauthier was traded to the St. John Sea Dogs for their playoff run in 2017 with Shabbat and Joseph. So they're all winners. We know Pierre Dorian loves his winners. He's got two QMJHL championships, and he also won a Calder Cup in the AHL. The 25-year-old right shot is big and fast, and according to a lot of the initial reports that we're seeing from Rangers fans who have gotten to see him over the course of the last number of seasons. He's played 136 NHL games. They say he can't do a whole lot else in terms of maybe not the most gifted puck handler, maybe not the hardest shot, but I'm willing to give him a chance on the fourth line and and see where it goes. I think you mentioned the, the key in this trade is having team control beyond this season. You're saving a bit of money. Tyler Mott's making 1.35. Gauthier's at 800,000 this year. So, It's pennies in terms of the grand scheme of an NHL salary cap, but you're also getting a bit more longevity out of it. Now, I'm excited to see Gauthier come because I remember his draft year. He was known as a scorer. His draft year, he had 41 goals in the QMJHL, and we know maybe to grain of salt, the Q, the the high-scoring league, but it'll be interesting to see. Where do you think he fits? You just throw him on, on a fourth line, or do you give him a chance to maybe move up to a third-line role and see if there is some untapped offensive potential. No, I don't see him in a third-line role, Ross. I mean, I think he fits perfectly perfectly on that fourth line. If you get a fourth line with a mixture of Parker Kelly, Mark Kastelik, and Gauthier in the future, I think that's a nice-looking fourth line. Uh, You get a lot of size, a lot of grit there. So I don't really... I think he's had a big enough sample size to see if he has offensive potential in the NHL and he just hasn't shown it. And that's okay. It's, it's more of a matter of putting him in the right role. And I think a fourth line role makes a lot of sense. We'll find out. It's a free test drive. Now we initially were thinking, Hey, is this going to be just for picks? Are you happy that a player's coming back or would you have preferred this slot to be open for a Sokolov or a Crookshank? No, I think I'm happy that a player came back because, like I mentioned, any deal you're going to make, if you're the Ottawa Senators right now, if it doesn't seem to impact or make your team better next season, I don't see a lot of worth in that. So, uh, although it's it's a little underwhelming, but my h- high hopes for a Tyler Mott return were a fourth-round pick at best. So, you get what's likely going to be a sixth-round pick. I have a lot of faith that the New York Rangers will win one playoff round. That's a stacked team, especially when you add Tarasenko there. And if you're the Rangers, this makes a lot of sense, right? Rangers fans, uh, we spoke to our friend John Chick of Locked On Rangers, and he had a lot of great things to say about Tyler Mott. So, certainly, they like and appreciate him as a player. So, that's a good return for them. And then, if you're the Senators... You can take a flyer on a guy like Gauthier and uh, you get a potential uh, sixth round draft pick here too. And it's not like the transition of pro hockey is what was tough for him because he lit it up 
in his initial AHL to his first mm-hmm. two seasons in the AHL. He was drafted, by the way, for Carolina. He was traded to the Rangers in a minor league move for Joey Keene back in 2020. But he had 26, 27 goals his first year and 26 goals in his second year in the AHL. So maybe I'm a little hard on the shot. Maybe he does have a little bit of touch. But either way, he's a big body, can skate fast, and he can maybe get to the front of the net. You know what? Just for familiarity's sake, Pilsy, I would start him on a line with Mattia Joseph on the other wing. I know they're both they're both righties, but I do think there could be a bit of at least a speed factor. You're going to be able to get some maybe uh, defensemen on their heels over the next little while. Um, sorry, Joseph shoots left is on the right wing. But that to say, so maybe you just slide Joseph where Mott was, and then you have a line, maybe Joseph, Greg, or Pinto, and then you put – Gautier on the right wing, at least until you figure out what's going on with Austin Watson, because I don't think you want him any higher in the lineup, right? So still a lot of balls in the air. We'll see how they drop, but I would expect Julian Gautier potentially as early as tomorrow. If not, you get a few days of practice before the Senators begin another back-to-back starting Friday in Carolina against the team that drafted Julian Gauthier, 21st overall back in 2016. Pelsey, a little revenge game? Eh? A little revenge game? That never hurt. Yeah, that could get the juices going, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, I mean, at this point, you can try him up uh, higher in the lineup on the third line, like you suggested, but I would be much more inclined to have him stay on the fourth line and bring Igor Sokolov up for a third line role here. If, they, if, that's, if you're looking to bolster the third line, I don't think bringing a guy in like Gauthier that has shown he hasn't been able to produce offense in the NHL, I don't think that's the right move. But you can see what you got, and you can see if a a new environment helps things out. Kind of funny that both Mott and Gauthier are sitting on nine NHL points this season. Gauthier in 40 games, Tyler Mott in 38. But again, there's that familiarity factor for Tyler Mott having just been in New York with the Rangers last year. What do you think the value was higher on? Final question on this move. Do you would you have preferred a fourth round pick like the Rangers uh, gave up for Tyler Mott last year or do you think a seventh that could turn into a six? So get your Rangers pom-poms out in the first round. It could be a sixth round pick. I laugh, but the Sens also have drafted Mark Stone and Daniel Offertson in the sixth round in for Oh, and Chris Neal, number 25, another sixth round pick up in the rafters now, but obviously that's tongue in cheek, but would you have rather Gautier and a lottery ball or would you rather have the fourth round pick? No, I think this was this was the right move, and, and he's a first rounder. There, you know, there's there is some potential there, and sometimes a change of scenery coming closer to home that can really provide a spark in a guy. And you look at a guy that says, "Hey, the Senators, this team wants me. They want me to be here. I've got an opportunity here. Maybe in New York, that's a stacked roster. You're not able to see the the light at the end of the tunnel for an opportunity, but here it certainly is, especially for this." back half of the season. So I think that was the correct move. I don't have a lot of scouting notes on Gautier, so it'll be uh, nice for me to see what he's got. But a big kid, RFA, close to home, there's some potential. We're going to ask our good friend Mike Rupp, who covers the Rangers more regularly. We're going to talk to the host of Locked On Rangers, John Chick, and we're going to have more information about Julian Gauthier for you on tomorrow's Locked On Senators. Let us know in the comments as well below. Let us know what you think of Julian Gauthier, the newest member of the Ottawa Senators. We wish Tyler Mott well. Thank you, Soldier. Of course, seemingly a great guy. He even got, did he get the chain or was it the goggles? I don't know. I I forget. But Tyler Mott was a guy that I, I really liked. Like, I think... If the Ottawa Senators had a chance to re-sign him, if it seemed like that was going to be an option, I might have went for that uh, also. Because uh, I, I thought as a depth player, especially as a team looking to play meaningful games and hopefully get into the playoffs, I think he definitely uh, is a useful guy. But we'll see. We will see. I think that's the best way to analyze this trade. But we'll chat after the game in the postcast. Enjoy Sens against the St. Louis Blues. It's a Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.